Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Ancient West Scribe Adventures. This episode is going to be all about stone mining, where I compare different machines to see which design works best. Oh, it's a good thing we have a field full of rocks. We have a couple of nodes as well as a whole bunch of just loose bits that the miners would have to pick up and process. So let's start with a machine that some of you may have already seen before. And for those of you who haven't, well, it works fairly simply. You drive up to a rock, you grab the rock, it goes in the bucket, and from the bucket into a processing hopper where it gets broken down into sticks. Up next is the only true mining machine of the bunch. Observe. Mine! 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 Up next is more of a gatherer instead of a complete miner because it does not have the ability to break up rocks, only to pick them up and process them in the hopper. The way it does so is with a very interesting mechanism inspired by snow collected machines that are somewhat popular in Europe. Well, let's see how it performs with the help of a few canisters.
Over here in pink is a grinder style machine where drills are mounted on rotating axles. When lowered, not only the drills spin, but the axles turn as well, helping to process the materials as well as grab the little sticks and push them closer to the collectors. The system has six independent drill arms that are supported by a bar while the machine is moving. The bar swings forward and the drill arms come down under their own weight. Because arms are independent of each other, this makes the system very efficient at picking up loose rocks, but less so at breaking up nodes because it only has one drill to deal with those. <laughs> And finally we have this 8 wheel machine. When lowered, each of the drills is supported by a couple of springs. One on the front to allow the drill to move forward and back a little bit, and another one to let it move up and down while providing constant downward pressure to easily process small rocks.
And with that, we have our results. In the last place is the original with 12 minutes and 29 seconds using 8 gas. Up above it is a grinder with 11 minutes 22 seconds and very inefficient using 32 batteries. And in the third place we have the teal machine at 9 minutes and 4 seconds using 8 gas and 1 battery. In the second place we have the yellow gatherer at 8 minutes and 51 seconds using 5 gas. And in the first place is the orange trike at 6 minutes and 22 seconds. It'll be moving on to a different test plot with a more natural terrain, just to see how it will perform in a more of a day-to-day -day operation.